गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन वीडियो क्लासेस ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड सेविक्स एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर टू अर्ली नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अमेरिकन रेवोल्यूशन डिक्लेयर डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ अमेरिकन रेवोल्यूशन so dear students in today's class we will discuss these topics declaration of independence impact of revolution the causes of civil war outbreak of american civil war before starting this um, we should discuss what we had done in our previous video class such as we have discussed about post tea party the stamp act and the you can say cruel rule of the britishers against the americans as they were ruling 13 colonies of america as their colonialism and there were so many uh, strict rule were imposed on britishers such as stamp act they had uh, to pay uh, tax for each and uh, every written work and printed work then boston tea party was the incident as we have discussed in the earlier video also that boston tea party was the incident where some of the um, you can say rebellion disguised themselves as red indians and they had attacked on one ship of uh, britishers on which they had this uh, crates of tea which they had thrown into the sea to deny the tea uh, act which were they were trying to impose on americans they want to have their monopoly over the business of tea and americans were having their feeling that it, it was started with tea and it can take it could take over other businesses also so the boston tea party was the last incident which we had discussed in our last video class now let's start with declaration of independence now when we will discuss about declaration of independence of usa the united states declaration of independence formally the unanimous declaration of the 13 13 united states of america it means the represent on 4th july 1776 some representatives from the colonies 13 colonies of america which were controlled by britishers uh, they held a conference at philadelphia and adopted the declaration of independence american philosopher thomas jefferson was the principal of the author of the declaration on your screen this is the picture of Thomas Jefferson he was the main philosopher who had given the thought of declaration of independence it is stated that all men and women are equal in america they all have right of life liberty and pursuit of happiness it also asserts to the right of people to form their own government but as you know britishers wants to cut one britishers at that time wanted to control the usa present usa at that time there were 13 colonies so they denied to, to respect these rights in that condition americans had launched a mass movement against the british to gain their independence so that was their war of independence this is the picture of george washington as you know when britishers had denied to accept the rights of americans so they had declared war of independence george washington had played the major role in that war of independence george washington had commanded the american forces and defeated the british troops in that war of independence and in that english commander was who lord cornwallis 
who later became the governor general of india had surrendered in that war so george washington had played the major role that time in the war of independence then in the year 1783 britishers and american had signed a treaty which was named as treaty of paris in which they have given independence to the 13 colonies which merged as united states of america and they have adopted the republic form of government so this is the declaration of war declaration of independence of america now we will study in our next heading is the impact of revolution now impact of the american revolution the american republic stood as the symbol of freedom to both europe and latin america the us constitution created the most liberal government of its time and would be copied my other countries not my other countries copied by other countries the success of american revolution would inspire the other nations to to throw off their absolute monarch this is the end of the colonial rule of um, a uh, colonial rule in america as a result of war of independence they had formed a federal government federal government means a system where a system where different states and or provinces come together to form a government this is the principle of creating salutary checks and balance salutary check salutary means here beneficial advantages for any state so the revolution also unleashed the power full political social economical forces that would transform the post revolution politics and society including increase the participation in politics and governance the legal institution and an in institutionalization of really religious tolerance and growth of illusion or differences of the population this revolution had also reflect a impact which you can say a significant short term effect on the life of women in the new united states of america in long term the revolution would also have significant effect on the life of the slaves free blacks as well as the institution of slavery itself it also affected the native american by opening a western settlement and creating governments hostile territorial claims even more broadly the revolution ended the merchantilistic or materialistic economic system opening the new opportunities in trade and manufacturing now the causes of the civil war economy states right versus federal rights slavery election of abraham lincoln except these if we will uh, go through the lines we will find that in the mid 19th century while the united states was experiencing an era of tremendous growth a fundamental economic differences existed between the countries northern and southern regions in north manufacturing industry was well established and agriculture was mostly limited to the small scale farms so the south economy was based on the system of large scale farming wherever they had to depend on the labor of black slave people to grow certain crops especially cotton and tobacco growing absolute uh, sentiment in north after 1830 and ex northern opposition to slavery extension into the new western territories led many southerns to fear that the existence of slavery in america and thus the backbone of their economy was in danger do you know confederate general thomas jonathan jackson earned his famous nickname stonewall from his steadfast defensive efforts in the first battle of bull run first manas at canfall will 
Jackson was shot by one of his own men who mistook him for Union Clavery. His arm was amputated. He died from pneumonia eight days later. So, after it, when uh, we will go to the facts, we will uh, you will get the information that in 1854, U.S. Congress has passed one act which essentially opened all new territories to the slavery by asserting the rule of popular sovereignty over congre congressional edict pro and anti-slavery forces struggle violently in bleeding canis while opposition to the act did not led to the formation of republic party a new political entity based on the principle of opposing slavery's extension into the western territories after the supreme court's ruling in the dred scott's case 1857 confirmed the legality of slavery sorry slavery in the trade treaties the abolished system of this was given by John Brown's raid at Harper's Ferry in 1859. After uh, it, there was one more reason of this is uh, war was Abraham Lincoln's election in November 1860 was the final straw within three months, seven southern state. South California, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, and Texas had ceded from the United States. So these are some causes of the Civil War. This is the picture on your screen is of Abraham Lincoln. His election was the major reason behind the American Civil War also. Now we will study our next heading, our next topic, Outbreak of Civil War 1861 to 1865. The succession of southern states ultimately led to the outbreak of Civil War on April 12, 1861. Even as Lincoln took in office March 1861, Confederate forces threatened the federal, federal held fort Smith in Charleston, South Car Car Carolina or uh, you can say a state of America on April 12 after Lincoln ordered a flood to supply E or a to it. After this, the first shot of civil war had started, uh, and that force commander, Major Robert Anderson, sur surrendered after less than two days of the bombardment, leaving the fort in hands of Confederate forces under G.T. Beauregard for more southern states, Virginia. North Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri, and Maryland. But in Missouri and Canada, Maryland, they did not see it. But there was much Confederate sympathy among their citizens. Though the surface of civil war may have seemed a lopsided conflict with the 23 states of Union, annoying or enjoying an enormous advantage in population, manufacturing arms, railroad construction, confederates had a strong military tradition, along with some of the best soldiers commanders in their nation. So they had also had a cause in, they believed in preserving their long had traditions, institutions, chief among these being slavery. In the first battle of Bull Run on July 21, 1861, Confederate soldiers under the commander Thomas Jonathan Stonewall Jackson forced a great number of Union forces to retreat towards Washington, D.C., dashing any hopes of 
quick union victory and leading Lincoln to call 500,000 forces or more recruits. In fact, both sides' initial call for troops had to be widened after it became clear that the war would not be limited or short conflict. So, this is the detail from outbreak of civil war. So, dear students, today we have discussed Declaration of Independence, Impact of Revolution, the causes of American Civil War, the outbreak of American Civil War. In our next video class, we will discuss about Gettysburg Address, French Revolution and Napoleon Bonaparte. Till then, have a nice day and thank you.